Hard time believing this guy wants to start this match off with some show of sportsmanship. Oh, and I was right. What a cheap shot. Adam Cole is here with one thought in mind to shut the system. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Beautiful. He's focusing on the face now. He's taking some offense. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. This thing appears to be slipping away. He's going to the pin. I can't believe it. He just kicked out. He's going to take more than that. with a power bomb. And it's Adam Cole showing some agility. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. I'd say every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunn Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunn also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. We already just... And Dunn quickly kicks out. Not yet. <laughs> nice job getting out of the way of that one. Hit breaker. That could be it. I'm really looking forward to seeing Adam Cole in action tonight. But I've always wondered if Adam Cole is really related to you, Michael. Figure it out, Byron. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. When this guy's on, look out. Wow, he just slammed him with ease. And it's Adam Cole. Showing some agility. Byron, I probably shouldn't even dignify your dumb theory from before with the response, but rest assured, Adam Cole is not my bay bay. Why would you be offended by that? Most of It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep him down. Adam Cole is still undisputed for a little while longer. He done hits it! He's back in He's got the shoulders down. We may very well be seeing the finish. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. Here is your winner, Pete Dunn. Where's this going? I think it's about to be a highlight reel. How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. You got a feel for Adam Cole. Look, he beat point he's done there may be no coming back from this he is hurt yeah things certainly appear to be trending in the wrong direction for him right now guys he done hits it that has got to be it gentlemen pete dunn might have this one all sewn up dunn is in position now i'll be worrying about long-term injuries for sure this one is over
Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Thanks. He drops the leg. Elbow drop. Inverted figure four leg lock cinched in. about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. He's starting to stagger a bit. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get oh. so out of hand. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner locked up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In the tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever, and what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 days. Not today. Not stopping the leg! Just nasty. Oh boy, he is rolling. Shane. Oh man, crushing clothesline. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Cover here. Now in full control. And look at the quickness by Shane Thorne. Shane Thorne looking. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. We got a cover. And he stops the count. Looking for an open.
opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Punishing attack on the body. Almost just a... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it as Byron. He goes for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. And the takedown brings him off his feet. Man, I think we're seeing the end for Nick Miller. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. Things have really gone from bad to worse for him here, guys. He's going to need to make a tag sooner rather than later. Yeah, he's in bad shape right now. But come on, it's nothing we haven't seen him overcome in the past. Gotta look out for that right hook. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned and Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino is counter here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Final. Got the shoulders down. One, two, and an air fall. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Tucker Knight is in position. the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Look at Otis Dozovic. He's got him covered. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. That might have hurt his head just as much. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you gotta take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. Oh, that could have been it. Could have been, but it wasn't. We have plenty of match still to go. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oof, gut punch. Nasty. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have... Look at Otis Dozovic! Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Oh, it's Otis Dozovic bringing the pain. This one's over, guys. Look at Otis Dozovic. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team. Oh, it's Otis Dosevich bringing the pain. Game, set, match. This one is over. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying. But it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it There's a pin now. One. Digging deep for a kick out. Not yet. in off the tag. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team comedy. Got the shoulders down. That could have been it right there. Oh boy, he is rolling. And he slams him down. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. 
And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't. He's going for the pin. A kick out after one. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. He's not looking like himself here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. Yeah, but don't forget, he's looked great up until now, guys. You can't deny that. Shane Thorne is going to have to act fast here to stay in this one. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. Clearly, they're both running on fumes right now. And at this point, it might just be a matter of which superstar's tank reaches empty first. Oh, what a clothesline! Look at Otis Dozovic! Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Well executed. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him? He's got the shoulders down. And he kicks out. Yeah, it's gonna take more than that to keep him down. When this guy's on, look out. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Shane. Oh, man, crushing clothesline. That might have done it, Cole. Shane Thorne, look at... And now he goes for it a second time. Wow, what a gritty performance. His signature slam. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Ooh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. He has something big planned. Takes him down in a major way, too. He caught him slipping. What have we got here? Otis Dolcevic has been roughed up pretty hard here. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. If he could just make it to his corner, these guys still have a chance. But if not, I don't see how he can overcome all this punishment and win. This has been one of the most intense back and forth battles I've seen in a long time. And unfortunately for him, it's not looking so great right now. Ooh. Going for an encore here. If this match heads outside, things can go south real quick. Let's hope not. Amazingly, neither side looking to give in here, guys. I don't think we could have asked for a more exciting match. That's a great example of teamwork right there. One, two, digging deep for a kick out. How'd he do that? Going all the way up. Look out! And look at the quickness by Shane Thorne! Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is ready! I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Great effort from both these teams, guys, but at this point, both sides look to be struggling here. He's 
just lining him up. Now it's Nick Miller. Nope, reverses it. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of it. There it is. Tucker and I just put the exclamation point on this match. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Tucker Knight is in position. Clearly on a mission here. Big shoulders on the back. One. They did it. Wow, what a match. Here are your winners, Tucker Knight and Otis Dozovic. Heavy machinery. Kicking off. Here we go, one-on-one -on -one tonight. Big matchup. Can't wait for this one. It's gonna be an all-time classic. Uh, what is he doing? He's out here for moral support. He has no business being out here. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some batch. One-on-one. Mano-a-mano. Pat O'Reilly setting it up! Uh-oh. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. And the odds just swung in Kyle O'Reilly's favor. Kicks out in the nick of time. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. He's trying to mangle his face here. He looks a bit off his game here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. What's he going to do with it? Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Spinning kick to the gut. He's not looking good here. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. What a shot to the back. Is that enough for the win? And a kick out, not even close on that. Too soon. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. He's making a statement here with this attack. He wants no part of this. Starting to show signs of fatigue. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Matchup is underway. Whip across the ring and oh, outside interference. And from behind, taking advantage. Protect yourself at all times. Kyle O'Reilly setting it up. He locks it in pretty much better than anybody. This one is over. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your what winner. The? I don't think we're going to wait for the match to start. Oh boy, he is winning. 
Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. And O'Reilly makes him pay in the worst way. What a shot. Incredible. And the odds just swung in Kyle. And O'Reilly makes him pay in the worst way. What a shot. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Kyle O'Reilly setting it up. Uh-oh. And O'Reilly makes him pay in the worst way. What a shot. That has got to be it. Angelo Dawkins is in a real bad spot. He lands the strike with great accuracy. What a clothesline. A well-placed kick. He's starting to sweat now. He can't rest on his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. The dangers of this triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. Wow. He better be careful. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. In February of 2017, SmackDown Live was lit thanks to an epic triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Champion Bray Wyatt defended the title against former champions John Cena and AJ Styles. This battle overflowed with mayhem before the match even got underway thanks to Luke Harper attacking his former leader, Bray Wyatt. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. It's not often that the WWE Championship is incapacitated before a title defense. John Cena and AJ Styles rekindled the rivalry with a renewed enthusiasm for destroying one another. Bray Wyatt ended the match and made up for lost time as the Eater of Worlds used his body as a weapon. It was pure chaos as AJ Styles followed suit with an unbelievable array of aerial attacks on both superstars. And John Cena continued to fight back in hopes of winning a record-breaking 17th World Championship. All three superstars pulverized each other with every move in their respective arsenals. When it looked like another air assault was coming from AJ Styles, John Cena thwarted the attempt and then walked right into Sister Abigail from Bray Wyatt to end the conflict. In that victory, the WWE went further into the darkness that was the era of Wyatt. And now he goes for it a second time. Oh boy, he is rolling. And he's heading back in. What damage to the chest. His drop kick finds the mark. Here it comes, he's got him. He'd be smart to stay put there. He's bringing it back inside. Oh, I think this man needs business. There it is. Johnny Gargano's just getting overwhelmed. Whoa, strong able to avoid damage. You got to think about using the finisher here pretty Uh-oh. This just ain't going to do it. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Shot block. He's on the defensive now. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. This is one of the more evenly matched contests we've seen in quite some time. From the looks of things, it could really go either way. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, the shoulders are down. No, not yet. Too early. Look at him move. What acrobatics. Corey told me earlier today that something doesn't seem right with Johnny Gargano. 
that there's weakness that his opponent can exploit. It's not a wrestling weakness I see, but a mental one. I see somebody who allows his past to cast a big shadow over any chance of a bright future. There's the cover. Can he do it? Oh, boy, he is rolling. Two, this could do it. He could do it here. Digging deep for a kick out. It's going to take more than that to keep Lars down. Evaluating what Corey said about Johnny's past failures, the way you get over something is to completely let it go. No longer acknowledge it, and it doesn't have power over you. And unfortunately, it's not that easy, Saxton. Johnny carries the effects of his past. Don't think for one second that old scars don't constantly permeate in the back of Johnny Wrestling's mind. Gargano's looking to end it. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Oh boy, he is rolling. Elbow drop. Will he be victorious? This battle's not over yet. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. He's lining him up. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the... Wow, I thought he was a goner. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Right in the midsection. Johnny Gargano looks like he's really struggling under this pressure. Oh, he's as good as finished. He may very well be on... Cover, cover! Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. He's inflicting some serious pain here. That should do it. Uh-oh. And a nasty inverted DDT. Gargano's looking to end it. Whoa, Gargano dodged that one. Johnny's so quick. Several different ways this can end, and all of them involve pain. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Looking for all the glory here. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Military. Boom! Incoming. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Oh, that's some serious damage to the back of the neck. He doesn't want... He could pin his opponent right here! It's over! What is keeping this competitor going? Uh-uh. Roderick Strong set it up! Oh, the arm's trapped. On oh, a slam! There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? I wonder how much more of this he can take. He's teetering on the edge here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Whoa, Gargano dodged that one. Johnny's so quick. Down. This one's over, guys. Gargano's looking to end it. Boom! Game, set, match. This one is over. Here he goes for the win! Look out, down he goes. Look at this. This could do it. A true testament to grit. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, this is dangerous right here.
What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. Whoa, did you see? Here's a couple. Two. Oh, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Watch out. This is where anything can happen. Tell me about it. He's got him down. Is this it? He's got to be running on empty at this point. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more will take. Expected nothing less, Cole. Surprises for the Enziger. Oh boy, he is rolling. Gargano's looking to end it. Boom! Just when you thought he had nothing left. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two, three. What a victory. What a triple threat. Here is your winner, Johnny Gargano. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're gonna get. Understandably, there haven't been a lot of people silly enough to step up and pick a fight with Aleister Black. But guys, one man who did famously tempt fate was Velveteen Dream in 2017. He absolutely did, Michael, which ultimately resulted in what some might call the match of the night at NXT TakeOver War Games, where Aleister Black defeated Velveteen Dream after nailing Black Mass. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Oh, did you hear his back crack? Boom, running STO. Nicely done. Oh, and a beautiful leap. Gets him with a kick. He's on the defensive here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I wouldn't call for the medics oh, just man. yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his oh, power man. not to let this get out of hand. Takes him down in a major way, too. His shoulders are down. And Alistair Black powers out. Clearly not enough damage done. Got the uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! Wow, Alistair Black able to avoid damage there. DDT! He's stumbling some now. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. That confidence he had in his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. In a back-and-forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. Elbow drop! Oh, boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go.
Alistair Black absorbing some offense here. This very well may be too much for him to handle. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good. Alistair Black Mass. Golly. He's going for the pin. Black with the W. What a victory. Corey, that's one of the biggest upsets we've ever seen. That was shocking, shocking highway robbery. And his opponent is about to blow a gasket and he just knocked out the ref. Sore loser. Go.